Okay, today we're doing military time. Over here on the left hand side, I have standard time. Like um, our day starts off with 12 a.m., which we call midnight. Then we go to 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., so forth to 7 a.m., all the way until we get to 12 p.m., which is noon. Then we go to 1 p.m., 2 p.m., so forth, all the way to 7 p.m., 11 p.m. Now we're back around to midnight again. Well, that's a 24-hour period. So to do military time, military time is actually counting the hours in the day. So 12 a.m. midnight is 0, 0, 0, 0. These first two set of numbers is your hours. These second two sets is your minutes. So just like our time, there's just no colon in between. And with military time, we don't do a.m. and p.m. So 12 a.m. is 0, 0, 0, 0. Then you get to 1 a.m. Well, you're one hour later in the day, so it's 0, 100, because these two are the hours, one hour, no minutes. 2 a.m., you're two hours in the day, 0, 200. So again, if you think of these first two columns as your hours, you're the second hour of the day. Then 7 a.m., you're at 0, 700, because you're the seventh hour of the day. Then you keep on going to where it would be for 8 a.m. it would be 0800, then 0900, then 10 a.m. would be 1000, all the way until where you get to 12 p.m. noon is 1200, because these first two columns tells you your hours, which we are in the 12th hour of the day. Then when you go to 1 p.m., the military time keeps counting because you're counting the hours in the day. This is the 12th hour of the day. Now we're at the 13th hour of the day. So you just keep on counting 12, 13, then 2 o'clock is the 14th hour of the day. The way that you can convert back and forth is you take your 1 hour plus the 12, so which would be 13. 2 o'clock, 2 plus 12 is 14. So 7 p.m., if we want to do 7 p.m., we can take our 7 plus 12, which is 1900. That would be the 19th hour of the day. Then if we're at 11 p.m., take your 11 p.m. plus your noon plus 12, which would be 2300 because you are the 23rd hour of the day. Then when you're back at midnight, we don't say 2400. You're back at 000. So once you get to 24 hours, you're back at 000 and you start over. So. Using those concepts, let's now convert to military time. So looking at 28C2, we're at 5.40 a.m. In standard time, a.m. is morning, p.m. is in the afternoon. So if we're a.m. in military time, we're in the morning, so we're only in the fifth hour of the day, so it would be 05 and then 40. These two are your hours, these two are your minutes. So Fifth hour of the day, 0500, 0540, that's military time. Okay, looking at 28D2, 820 AM, the eight you have to look at, are you in the morning or are you in the afternoon? We're in the morning, so we're in the eighth, eighth hour of the day, so 0800 and then 20. This is my hours, this is my minutes. Okay, let's look at 28D1. 2.15 p.m. P.m. means we are after 12 o'clock, 12 noon, okay? 12 noon is the 12th hour of the day. So if you can always remember that 12 noon is 1200 in military time. Well, we need to be two hours past that. So basically you can take your that, the 1200, and add your 2.15. So then that would be the 12 plus the 2 would be 14, we're in the 14th hour of the day, and then you still have your minutes, so 14, 15. And for military, there is no AM or PM because we're counting the hours in the day. There's no two times that will be exactly the same in military because you keep counting the hours of the day. Looking at 28C1, 8.20 PM. So we are eight hours after noon, eight hours after 12 o'clock. So for eight hours past 12, we can take 12 plus eight, which is 20. And then that's the 20th hour of the day, 
plus our 20 minutes right there. Okay, now let's go backwards. Let's convert from, let's convert to standard time. So they're going to give us this in military, and then we have to go to standard time. Okay, so when you see a zero here, that's a good indicator that you're in the morning. There won't, because 10 a.m. won't have a zero here, but that's a good indicator you're in the morning. You're only the fifth hour of the day, five hours from midnight. So five hours from 12 a.m. So five hours from 12 a.m. is just going to be five o'clock in the morning, five. 35. This is your hours, fifth hour of the day, and then that's your minutes. And then when you put standard time, it's really, really important to put a.m. or p.m. Because if I told you 535, if I'm going to go to the gym at 535, is that 535 a.m. or 535 p.m.? So it's really, really important for you to put your a.m. or p.m. when you're writing standard time. Okay, look at 28E4-0316. So, this, this first two columns, your hour, that's the third hour of the day. So we're still in the morning time. We're still in a.m. So then that would be three, and then your 16 is your minutes. In standard time, we do have a colon. And because it's the third hour of the day, we're still a.m. We're still in the morning before noon. Now look at 28C5. <clears throat> we're in the 17th hour of the day. Well, 12 noon is 12 hours of the day. So this tells me I'm after noon. So if I'm 17 hours, I can do my 17 hours minus 12 hours of noon, which tells me I'm five o'clock. Okay, so that's one way you can get back to standard time. So this means I'm five o'clock, and then that's my minutes, because I'm 17 hours of the day. So I, this would mean I'm five hours past noon. And since I'm past noon, it would be p.m., afternoon, p.m. Okay, look at 28C6, 2150. I'm in the 21st hour of the day, which means I'm afternoon because noon is 12 hours of the day. So to figure out your standard time, you can take your 21. How many hours are we past noon? Subtract. So 21 minus 12, that would be 9. So that would be 9 p.m., 9.50, and then we are afternoon, so 9.50 p.m. Okay, now we're going to add military time together, looking at 28C10, 20.45 plus 02.45. Again, remember, these first two columns are your hours. The last two columns are your minutes. So you need to add the, you need to think of this like this. Add your minutes together, then add your hours together. Okay, so 45 plus 45 is 90, but you can still add normal. 5 plus 5, 10. Carry. 4 and 4 is 8 plus 1, 9. So 90. Then this is 0 plus 2, 2. 2 plus 0, 2. So 22, 90. But the same is true when you're adding standard time. So we have more than 60 minutes here. 90 minutes. So we need to take 60 of these minutes because 60 minutes is an hour. Take your 60 minutes and add it over here to your hours. Okay, so we're going to take 60 of these minutes, which is now an hour. So that's one hour. So that becomes now 23 hours. And then how many minutes are left? 90 minus 60, 30. So 23, 30. That would be the correct military time. Looking at 28 E5, 0153 plus 0050. So add your, again, hours, minutes. Add your numbers up, three plus zero, three. Here, five plus five, 10. Go ahead and put it as 103 minutes. Here, don't put zero and then carry your one into your hours. You have to think of these as adding your minutes, 103 minutes. Now, adding your hours together. So zero, one plus zero, 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 one. So that's one hour and 103 minutes. So we can only have 60 minutes. So we subtract 60 minutes because in that 60 minutes is going to, we're going to add one hour to that. So that's going to become 02. Now subtracting that, that would be 3 minus 0, 3, 10 minus 6, 4. 
Now we have 2 hours 43 minutes, or 02.43. Alright, let's do subtracting military time. Look at 28E7, so pretty similar to subtracting standard time. Again, you think of this as hours, this as minutes. There's just no colon in between. 24 hours and 19 minutes minus 6 hours and 45 minutes. Okay, again, you're doing your minutes to your minutes and then you're doing your hours to your hours. But can we do 19 minutes minus 45 minutes? No, and we're not time traveling, so no negative time. So we have to borrow, so this 24 hours becomes 23. We're taking one hour away from that. One hour is 60 minutes. So we're gonna add our 60 minutes to this. So I'm gonna rewrite my new time down here. So the new time would be 23, 23 hours. Now 60 plus 19 would be 79. So that would be 2379 minus 0645. Now I can subtract my minutes to my minutes. Nine minus five, four. Seven minus four, three. Now here, subtracting your hours, you can borrow like normal. Only you can borrow within just your minutes or just your hours. So borrow here, 13 minus 6, 7, 1. So that would be the same as 17 hours, 34 minutes. Okay, look at 28E number 8. You can think of this as 10 hours and 52 minutes minus 8 hours and 55 minutes. Well, if I have 52 minutes, I can't take away 55 minutes. So we have to borrow from the 10 hours. So my 10 hours take one hour away becomes a nine. So I take that one hour away, which is 60 minutes, and add it to my minutes. So then my new time, nine hours, and I would put a zero here as a placeholder. Now do your 60 minutes plus your 52 minutes, and that would be 112. 0 plus 2, 2. 6 plus 5, 11. So it looks strange, but you're going to have to write it like this. It's okay that you have this 112 over here in your minutes. 08, and then line up your numbers. 112 minutes minus 55 minutes. Line everything up so your numbers line up. Okay, now that we have the new time here, then again you're just doing minutes to minutes. So you're subtracting 112 minus 55. So if you're doing that, 112 minus 55, you can't do 2 minus 5, so you need to borrow. I'm going to look at this whole thing as 11, okay? So I'm going to borrow from the 11 and make that a 10, add a 1 here, so 12 minus 5, 7, then this is 10, 10 minus 5, 5. Now we can subtract our hours, 1, 0.